vinyasa in Sanskrit, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to go with the Pilates set up straight away. So we're going to zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals and take your navels towards the spine. Okay, simply do that. And as you do that right now, you're going to breathe in through the nose and exhale through pursed lips in the usual Pilates manner. And as you do that right now, you'll feel the breath coming low and deep to these lower lobes of lungs, the intercostals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach. Okay, and that'll help us use the pelvic floor and the corset muscle, what we call the transverse abdominus muscle, the corset muscle three layers deep, which is all segmentally stabilizing the spine, linked onto the pelvic floor, which are both stabilizing the spine. They go together, their muscles. As we zip up pelvic floor, we scoop out the abdominals and vice versa. And that allow that breath. Right now, as you're doing that, as you're breathing through the nose and exhaling through pursed lips, <clears throat> that's gonna allow that breath to come in low and deep to these lower lobes of lungs, these fish gills, 3D style, organ deep, <clears throat> cell deep, even bone marrow deep into these lower lobes of lungs, into costals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach. And as you do that right now, <clears throat> just feel that breath naturally, 3D style, go into them lower lobes of lungs. As if someone sort of wrapped a scarf tightly around your ribs and you breathe into that scarf wide and full, okay? As though someone's opened an umbrella inside your rib cage and letting go, or someone's just pushing out from inside your ribs and letting go. Just adding width to the lungs as you breathe in, and length to the out breath as you feel that natural decrease and expansion of the ribs. Okay, lateral thoracic breathing in Pilates, that's called. And again, that's gonna go in low and deep to these lower lobes of lungs because there's nowhere else for the breath to go apart from into these lower lobes of lungs, the intercostals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach. So as you feel that lovely 3D breath, okay, as you're zipping up pelvic floor and scooping out your abdominals, and taking the navel towards the spine, as you do that right now, we're just gonna slightly change that from the Pilates path and go down the yogic path where we close the mouth and just go in and out through the nose. And as you do that right now, go in and out through the nose with the breath, that smaller filter through the breath. As you do that right now, you'll feel the natural wheel cycle of the breath lengthen. And as you do that right now, allow that wheel cycle to lengthen you'll get that sort of more yogic breath or one type of yogic breath. That sort of smaller filter for the nose helps us lengthen the breath, as in the asanas. Okay, just touching briefly on the yogic breath there, you'll naturally feel the out breath want to fall longer than the in breath. So as that happens, as that out breath falls slightly longer than the in breath, just consciously take your mind to that out breath and quadruple it, double it, triple it, whatever you like the out breath, make that longer than the in breath. Within your limits, okay, you're not forcing anything. Everyone's breathing pattern and rhythm would be different. If you were to count one would be, you know, someone would be breathing five or four, exhaling for 10 or 11, it doesn't matter. Just make the out breath longer than the in breath within your limits, okay? And as you're doing that right now, <clears throat> lengthen that out breath longer than the in breath. You're going slightly more into the hypnotic breath, a bit like seven leaden breathing. And that's gonna naturally stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system. All the things you don't think about, sleep, digestion, rest, and relaxation will be benefited by elongating the out breath longer than the in breath. As you do that right now, encouraging restful relaxation responses and endless streams of comfort. 
just coming into the nerve system and help everything feel even more relaxed than it already is. Lovely. Just simply riding the wave of that elongated out breath. Looking to untie the knots that are bound you. Feel that sense of liberation and freedom from that lovely elongated out breath and simply allow that simplicity just to relax the mind at will. And as that naturally relaxes the mind at will, as you're still zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out the abdominals, taking a navel towards the spine, breathing it out through the nose now, but consciously elongating the out-breath longer than the in-breath. You can either stay with that or go to slightly more advanced yogic breath, ujjayi breath, victorious breath, okay? Victorious breath in Sanskrit, Ujjayi breath, seashore breathing. Okay, you're able to hear this. So again, I'm going to demonstrate this. All the only difference is we're going to narrow the esophagus. If you can't get it, don't worry. Carry on zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out abdominals, breathing out through the nose, and elongating the out breath as you are right now. But if you can get this, fine. We're going to narrow the esophagus and we're going to go for ujjayi breath. Again, I'm going to demonstrate. So again, you're breathing through the nose. It's going to make this sound. It's a... Keep your shoulders down and it's a... But with the mouth closed. Sort of soft, silky, whistling ujjayi breath. Victorious breath. It's a... Sort of silky, whistling, raspy sound for the back of the throat. Ujjayi breath, victorious breath. Okay, again, that's going to give our mind something even more to focus on within the breath. No matter what breath you're doing, ujjayi breath. If you can't get it, don't worry. Just be aware of the sound of the breath, the feeling of the breath. As it weaves that tapestry of relaxation and every single organ, cell, sinew the body at will. Every sinew of the body, allowing that breath to manifest, organ deep, cell deep, even bone marrow deep. Okay, especially into them lower lobes of lungs. But if you've got the ujjayi breath, you're breathing in. Keeping the shoulders down. It's like a... Soft, silky, whistling, ujjayi breath, victorious breath. Okay, that raspy sound from the back of the throat will give the mind even something further to focus on. Real focusing breath. Sometimes you'll do this naturally. We're overemphasizing that natural focusing breath you sometimes do. Okay, <clears throat> when you're going to focus on something like threading the needle, a fine motor skill, some DIY, banging the nail in something, you might do a little sigh, but we're overemphasizing that focusing the mind even more. If you can't get that, don't worry. If you can get that, great. That's gonna stimulate the thyroid gland, which helps with weight control, etc. Helps us build the heat in the body, helps us fan the fire to burn all the toxins in the body. Ujjayi breath, victorious breath. Okay, lovely. That's even gonna lengthen that whole will cycle also with that ujjayi breath. Otherwise, just stick to the breathing movement doing. And let's just go and link this to vinyasa, breath synchronized movement. Okay, so we're gonna start with a basic motion. In the traditional form, this is believed to help the heart, lungs, pericardium, the heart lining, and triple heaters, the immune system of the body. Again, that doesn't really matter. We're not going traditionally with this. So again, I digress. This will go into every single organ, cell, sinew of the body, every square inch of tissue in the body. So with this, it's a nice natural motion. You're partially empty one foot, you come up on the toes of one foot and you go around to here. Now this will lengthen the external obliques here, the quadrilaterals lumborum, all these crosses that go across the back, the crosses that go across the front crosses, crosses of muscles go across the front of the body, 
like the internal obliques. They'll all be lengthened. This really helps the walking gait okay, of the body. This very functional exercise. But you're emptying to one side. I'll get the feet in a minute. And you breathe and come back and you exhale, empty. Again, lengthen the little finger all the way down to the hip. Okay, think of that happening on that elongated exhale. So from there, it's gonna come back. So from here, we're gonna we're gonna partially empty this foot in a cat stance. Okay, exhale, breathing in, exhale, breathing in. Again, the foot's gonna go in a sort of like a cat stance and come back. So you come onto the toes and you empty. Okay, partially empty the foot, breathing, come back, exhale, really be long with that exhale on this motion. It's a sharper in breath and it's a exhale, let go for as long as you like. Okay, breathing in, coming up, allow the shoulders to drop and exhale, really elongate the exhale for as long as you like. Feel the stretch here, even the triceps, the whole lateral line of the body is being released here, okay? And again, as you're doing it, match the breath to the rhythm of your body, okay? The natural rhythm of your body, that internal rhythm of the body there, and just simply elongate the out breath and empty if you finish the move here, just carry on exhaling and emptying emptying it's like a sort of dragon's mouth there breathing in, coming back partially empty the foot come up on the toes as you empty and elongate the out breath longer than the in breath and again remember it's your union of your mind and body so only make this as easy or as hard as you like with the speed and the tempo and the range be nice and gentle as you go in there and zip up pelvic floor scoop out your abdominals with ujjayi breath or not Okay, it doesn't matter. Just allow that breath to manifest in every single organ, cell, sinew of the body. Okay, because again, even though these are linked traditionally to organs, electromagnetic rivers within the body, okay, and emotions, etc., it will literally reach every single organ, cell, sinew, and atom of the body. As you're exhaling here, even allow the atoms around you just to relax and let go. Even the objects around you just to relax and let go on that elongated out breath. Breathing in, coming back, exhaling, letting go at will. So like there's generally like them sort of yawning stretches you get first thing in the morning when you sort of have that yawn in the morning. That's how they're meant to be, these Qigong movements. And don't get too caught up in it. Again, the names will be slightly different, the moves will be slightly different. It is just movement at the end of the day. So again, everything's two subjects. It's just movement, breath synchronized motion. If it feels good to you, great. If it doesn't, don't do it. Bang. So again, we got separating the clouds. Or I, uh, sorry, separate the clouds next, the fourth of the 18 form Qigong sequence. And that will be the 12th of the whole lot. But again, this was number three, and it was the 11th. Is that right? The 11th of the whole 35. Bang, I think I said it wrong at the beginning. It's the 11th. Bang.